The secret to consistency in ball speed on the golf course is forward shaft lean, bar none. If we have forward shaft lean, then that club face is gonna be stable through impact, meaning the shots are gonna be much more consistent. They're gonna be much straighter, there's gonna be less curve. And if we are, have shaft lean, we're also de-lofting the club, meaning we're gonna get more energy into the ball and the ball speed's gonna be higher. So this is a must have if we're wanting to be consistent on the golf course and hit great shots. We can actually even swing easier and hit the ball further. So what we're gonna go over today is something you may have heard before, but if you stick with me, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna be able to finally get forward shaft lean every single time you swing. So if you've seen me do any uh, instruction yet, you know that I really like to explain things in extreme. I think it's a really easy way to make, so we can easily see what we need to see so that we can make easy adjustments in our golf swing. So if I'm looking for forward shaft lean, I have to be a certain height from the ground. So let me explain that in the extreme. The extreme would be if I'm standing straight up and down. If I'm standing straight up and down when I make my swing, if I were to get forward shaft lean, I wouldn't even be able to reach the ball. I can't physically reach it. So if I'm standing straight up and down to be able to hit this ball, I'm gonna have to flip the club. I'm gonna have to extend to hit this shot. So the opposite of that, that would be the extreme. The opposite of that would be me covering the ball with my chest. So let me explain covering the ball very quickly. Covering the ball, if I was gonna cover the ball, it's almost like I'm putting a roof on it. This would be me completely covering the ball. Now we can't actually do this when we're swinging, so what we're going to do is we're gonna cover it to a certain extent. The more that my sternum gets closer to the ball, the more that I'm covering the ball with my chest. And this is the secret to getting forward shaft lean. It's gonna control my height so that I can get forward shaft lean. So if I go to cover the ball, and I'm gonna over exaggerate this, even more, just like I did standing straight up and down, and I were to release the club early, I would hit, this is almost two feet behind this ball. So in order for me to hit this ball solidly, I'm gonna have to do something in order to do that. And the only way to do that is to get forward shaft lean. I guess I could do something kind of weird, but this is not going to be something we're gonna be able to do in a full swing. So if I'm covering the ball, I have to get my hands in front to get forward shaft lean. So the opposite, if I do this and I really, really cover the ball and I hit this ball solidly, that ball is gonna come out super, super low. You can see my, uh, my loft on that was 4.6. That's crazy low compared to a, uh, a regular golf shot. So how do we apply this to our full swing? Well, the answer is this, guys. It's really this simple. We, and when we're making our downswing, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this, we are going to really, in our minds, over-exaggerate this chest getting closer and closer to the ball. And we wanna do this on our downswing. So if we're doing this ideally, we're gonna stay about the same height on our backswing. Then on our downswing, we are going to, on our downswing, cover the ball with our chest as much as we possibly can. Even in your mind, if you feel like I was doing it earlier, when my chest is completely over the ball, this is what we're gonna feel like we're doing. Now, when it actually happens when you go to hit the ball, your mind's gonna know where that club head is, so you're not gonna actually be able to get this low. If you do get this low, that's great. You can start toning it down a little bit, but most of the time, the player is gonna feel this. Now, the number one mistake, just real quick, that you don't wanna make is you don't wanna do this with your nose. You don't want your head to go down. You wanna make sure your actual shirt buttons or your sternum goes down. So I like to tell my students to keep their, the distance between their nose and their shirt button the same, and we don't wanna tuck our chin. We wanna make sure we keep that distance the same as we cover the ball with our chest. So when you're working on this to start off with, you're gonna, have, you're gonna need to make sure you pay attention to where your bottom point is because it's gonna be much different than it was before. So the drill you wanna do is start off with taking nice easy swings, really on the downswing, cover the ball with the chest as much as you possibly can and hit the ball solidly. If you don't hit it solidly at first, that's fine, but you will hit it solidly if you keep covering it. You're just gonna have to find a little bit different way than you're used to to get to the ball. So I am covering this. I know it looks a little bit weird, but I'm really over exaggerating this so I can keep my chest down. So what we're gonna do is really work on covering the ball consistently down as far as we can go and hit it solidly. Once we feel like we can do that consistently, we're gonna make sure that when we can check ourselves on camera, we're gonna make sure that we are, we are staying either the same height as we're coming into the downswing or we're even covering it a little bit more. And that way that's going to guarantee if we hit that ball solidly that the hands are gonna be in front, we'll have that stable club head, we can release it out in front and get that ball speed that we're looking for. So once we feel like we've really got it, 
So there we go, that would be about a normal loft. That's actually a little bit lower than normal, about 19.1. The one before that, I think, was like around 10 degrees. So you can see, by overdoing this, we can really make sure that we get that forward shaft lean. So when you're working on this, make sure that that chest is covering the ball as much as, it pos as, much as you possibly can, and this will guarantee, when you hit it solidly, that you'll have forward shaft lean, because if you don't, we're gonna bottom out way behind it. So I'm gonna do one more here, we're gonna make sure that on the downswing, I'm covering the ball. I'm feeling like I'm getting down here and hitting the ball solidly. Now, there we go. That was really, really low. So as you can see, if you get really good at this and you can cover the ball a lot, you can actually get too much forward shaft lean. That'd be a great problem to have because now you can tone it down and really start to control your trajectory, get forward shaft lean every time and get that ball speed. Now, that's just the first half of the equation. There's the, the problem that I see when you start working on this, when we start covering the ball with the chest, is that this club starts to steepen out. This is kind of the tendency that's gonna to wanna to have happen. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to make sure that as we're covering the ball with the chest, that we're gonna be shallowing out the club so that it can come from the inside. And then the next thing that happens, uh, the big problem when we cover the ball, we get a ton more forward chaff lean than we're used to. And usually when a player does this, the club face stays wide open. So what I need you to do, once you're coming shallowing this out, we're also gonna make sure that we square up the club so that when we do have the forward shaft lean, we can press the ball dead straight. Now, owner and head instructor Clay has a great drill called the anti-roll method that's gonna show you how to do both of these. So if you pair that up with covering the chest, you're gonna be able to get a ton of forward shaft lean and compress the ball, maximize your consistency and your ball speed. If you wanna see that video, we're gonna play a preview of it at the end of this video that you can see the whole lesson by clicking on the iCard, or if you don't see the iCard, that's fine. You can click on the link in the description below. Pair those up, guys, and compress it like you never have before. Here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep, and that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters, and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this, there's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, You'll see the face is straight up and down, and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there...